In this video today, I will show you how you can use the rulers and the guides here inside of DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. Since the update version 20.1, we got a complete new feature about rulers and guides. That's a feature that was always missing in DaVinci Resolve, but now we have it on the desktop and we even have it here on the iPad. And in this video, I will show you how this works. By the way, I'm Daniel and on this channel, it's all about DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro for the iPad. So if you're into that, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding in the bam bang gong. If you are here in DaVinci Resolve, that works in the cut page and even on the edit page. So I will remove all of this and I will show you how you can open this one. It's this icon here on the top. If you right click on this one, longer press with your finger or your Apple pencil, then here on the bottom, these two were now added. We already had this feature here. You can use this for like social media. It gives you like rough guides, but it's not the same like the ones that we now got added. So this one is off by default. To activate this one, you just simply click here on rulers. So now we have the rulers here around our viewer. If we now come back in here, right click we can also activate guides there's two ways how you can edit the fast way is you can simply come here to the ruler to one of them the horizontal or the vertical one and just drag and drop from here i can now drag and drop a guide for example to here and i can drag and drop a guide to here you can add as many guides as you want i can drag another one in here i can drag another one in here the second method is actually to right click on on my ruler and say here, add guide. Now I get this little window here where I can set the position. And the position in DaVinci Resolve, zero is exactly the middle of our screen. So if I say horizontal guide at zero, it will place it exactly here at the zero line. Just to show you that again, I will clear all guides by just right click here on the ruler, clear all guides. So let's do this again, right click, add a guide, horizontal at zero, and let's do another one, add a guide, vertical at zero that means now we have the exact middle of that if you want to change those guys guides afterwards you can either just simply drag and drop them around that works you can change them and if you want to now have them on a specific position what you can do is and that only works i will show you this now in the edit page to clarify it if i go to the edit page with my two fingers i can always zoom in and out here in my viewer that doesn't work on the cut page if i zoom out a little bit i see more space here around not exactly at the ruler because if i right click on the ruler i will always get this window here but if i right click on a guide here not at the ruler i can get this little pop-up menu where i can say remove this one guide so i can remove this one or i can say edit guide and then this window pops up again and I and now I can say for example put this on position 100 so now it's on position 100 you can do the same on the cut page but on the cut page is a little bit more hidden so black magic design if you if you're watching this is something I would love to see an improvement on the cut page because we can't zoom in or out here so the only way to get the space because usually you have your viewer like this right so if I now try to right click here in between there is no space so I will always get the other menu but what I can do is I can for example make this window smaller. Now I see a little bit here on the right side. I can right click this, edit the guide. I can change the values here. So what about the other one? What if I have a guide here and I want to change that here? The opposite, I have to now make this screen bigger. Now I see the top and the bottom bars and I can right click here. So it works, but it's a little bit of a hustle. So Blackmagic, if you're watching, this is one thing it is missing. I think the easiest fix would actually to implement the same feature with the two fingers just swiping in and out. So I can zoom in and out if I want and also introduce this button here. So if I wanna go back, just fit, that would work. I think this would be amazing for the cut page as well. Maybe there's a reason why this is not in, but for the guides, it would make sense. So if you have guides, let's drag, drag in another one. These guides is not just for you, to show you, for example, safe areas, eye lines, whatever you want to do, rule of thirds, you can create whatever you want and they will not render out. This is just in the program for you as an indicator. And if I, for example, add a text, you can always use a text and snap to your guides. That's actually very, very cool. So whatever I want to do here, I can take this text and I can align it here, let's say here on the corner. By the way, if you have a keyboard and you want to drag this around without the snapping, you can just hold down the option key while dragging this around, then it doesn't snap. By the way, the rulers you can actually show in two different types. One is the pixels. So if I right click in here, we are at pixel modus, but I can also go to percent. So with percent, it actually starts with here on the top left, so zero. And now I can go all the way down to 100%. That's my vertical version of my viewer. And I can also go from zero to 100% horizontal. So it's up to you how you want to work. You can either work with 
percentage or with pixels. If you don't want to see the guides, but you don't want to delete them, you can simply click on this icon, then the rulers and the guides are gone. You can continue work. If you want to see them again, you click on this. If you don't need your guides, if you just want to delete one, I already showed you this, you can right click on one and then just say remove that guide. Or you can right click on a ruler and say here, clear all guides, or you can clear all verticals or clear all horizontals. Another feature that they have is for example, if you don't want to by accidentally move them around, you can actually lock the guides here with this icon. Now everything is locked, so I cannot move them. And the same works if I right click and say here, lock guides. Now it's unlocked, lock guides. Now it's locked, unlock. Yeah, that actually works. So that's it. This is how you can use guides even in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. Have fun with those. You don't have to do the old way anymore. There was a way how to add a grid effect. There's still a video. Sometimes the grid makes sense. So I'll link you the grid video if you want to know how to use the grid because there are some certain areas where maybe the grid still makes sense for perspective view, like changing your video or something. But for just simple things like aligning, guidelines or save areas. You can do this now all with these guides. So have fun with these. I see you in the next video. I'm Daniel. I hope you liked this and you learned something. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding in the bam bang gong, and we we'll see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.